Five types of rulings are applied to movements in Salah. One, prohibited movements, which are a lot like unnecessary successive movements which are unconventional, for example, eating. Two, disliked movements, which are a few without a need, like slightly turning. Three, permissible movements, which is moving due to a need, like rubbing one's beard. Four, recommended movements, upon which the perfection and completion of the Salah is based, like filling the gaps in the rows. Five, obligatory movements, upon which the validity of the Salah is based, like removing a najasa, physical impurities. The shirt is, it is external acts of worship, continues throughout the worship. One is not excused from it due to ignorance or forgetfulness. It is not mended by Sujra Sahu. For a, r- a Rukun, it comes under the very act of worship, makes up a part of the different parts of the acts of worship. One is not excused from it due to ignorance or forgetfulness, and it is not mended by Sujra Sahu. Al Wajib, it comes under the very act of worship, makes up a part of the different parts of the act of worship. One is excused from it due to ignorance and forgetfulness, but not out of intention. It is mended by sujood as sahu A sunnah, it comes under the very act of worship, makes up a part of the different parts of the act of worship. One is excused from it due to ignorance, forgetfulness, and out of intention. It does not need to be mended 